Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Today I'm going to be showing you a technique called hold ups. It's basically holding up your enemy with your weapon when you sneak up on them from behind. This technique is great for getting items and resources off of your enemies. So the controls of holding up your enemy is sneak up on them using the D-pad and then push L3, which is the left joystick. Now you could push and hold the shoot button instead of L3, but that just makes things a little more complicated and a little more difficult. Wait for Snake to say, freeze, and then you'll see the enemy drop their weapon. Keep aiming your weapon at the enemy and then go around and face them in the front. This is where you can get items off the enemy by pointing your weapon at the enemy's head or their crotch. They'll drop items like ammunition, healing items, and food. They can usually drop around three or four or sometimes even five different items. If you see the enemy shaking their booty like this and no more items are falling out of their pockets, you know they're out of items to give you and now you can choose a few different options how to dispose of the enemy. Before making this video, I thought the only weapons that work with this technique are the handguns, the shotgun, and also the primary rifles. I did not know the sniper rifle also works, that's pretty cool. So then, this got me wondering, can I use the RPG to hold up enemies? And yes. Yes, you can. You can use the freaking RPG to hold up enemies. That's so cool. So let's go over one more time. You're going to want to sneak up on your enemy. The best way to do this is the D-pad and then push L3. Freeze. Once you hear Snake say freeze and then you see the enemy drop their weapon, this is when you can slowly walk towards the front of your enemy. And don't forget, the right bumper is how you aim at the enemy's head or crotch. Now this technique does not just end here, because now you have to figure out what you actually want to do with your enemy now that you're done with them. You have a few different options to choose from. You can simply shoot your enemy, or you can use CQC to dispose of them. See my CQC guide for more details. Now remember, once you hold up your enemy, you have to aim your weapon either at their head or their crotch, because those two areas are considered lethal areas that'll usually take out the enemy in one hit. Now one small detail I will include is, you can still hold up your enemies if you have zero ammunition in your weapon, but if your enemies notice and realize you have zero bullets, they will turn on you and attack you. So if you try to shoot them, they'll hear the gun click and then they'll just attack you. Now once you hold up your enemy, you have to take them out one way or another. Either use your gun to shoot them or CQC. Because if you walk away and they notice you're gone, they'll go into caution mode and call the radio for HQ. Patrol here. We're under fire. Enemy... If you hold up an enemy, make sure no one else can see you. Because if they see you or the enemy you're holding up, they will attack. The hold up technique is very useful against a boss fight called the end for two very specific reasons. For one, holding up the end is the only way you can get his special camo called Moss. I've already made a video about that on my channel, so check that out if you want. And two, holding up the end is the best technique to beat him non-lethally if you're trying to go the route of not killing anyone for the whole entire game. Speak. Finish me. Freeze. Don't shoot. Freeze. Freeze. Uh. No, wait. Freeze. Uh. Freeze. Please don't. Now please be aware, these controls are for the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection, which released on the Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series X and S, and also the PS5. Now if you're playing the original PS2 version, those controls are going to be a little different, so if you want that, it's going to have to be its own separate video. And last reminder, all these controls are available online if you look them up, or in the Master Collection main menu.